good morning. Nobody here yet, which is pretty nice. There's no clouds, which is also very nice. I don't know what board you're on. I feel like this is always an issue. You could ride the 5.8, use Shroud model, the channel bottom infinity, pop the rocket, 6.0, small wave gun, synthetic 84 quad. I'm gonna ride the 6.0. My blew it and forgot wax. All I have is base coat and it's not going on my board. This is pointless. Pretty fun. I saw Shano. I watched Kevin Skavarna get so barreled down at Littles. I was tripping on it. Board work good. Nice and drivey. I like the long board feel. Paddles nice, catches waves, does longer turns really well, drives through barrels. I'm riding those AM2 larges that Timmy foiled down. Just a little bit smaller, a little more controlled. Kind of makes all three fins closer to the same size, I guess. Just feels a little more free with the same amount of drive. Nicer roll from rail to rail, and you come out of turns with speed before it kind of like catch coming out of a turn. But now it kind of feels like you can slingshot out of it and go right into the next one with more speed. On the order card, I wrote down 90s chippy thrusters. And then when I handed Keith the order card and he cut an A3, which is Andy Iron's third rendition of his model. Basically, I'm more rockered out, thinner, short board, domey deck classic board. But for Timmy, he kind of had to go at it and just like do his thing. This is like my favorite style of surfboard. Long and drivey and fast. Well, back in the 90s, guys like Chris Ward, Andy Irons, I guess 80s, Mark Ocalupo, Tom Carroll, Joel Parkinson, Taj Burrow. Well, they would have rode. The standard shortboard would have been 6'1 to like 6'3. Their bigger wave boards, 6'6. Like I think Aki won one of his titles in the 80s on a 6'6 the entire year. He only one surfboard the whole year at every event and one title because nowadays guys are riding like they have five different of the exact same five nines why i like the way that those guys surfed a lot on those bigger boards with the lines that they drew uh, i watch a lot of taj burrow even today riding like 511s and things like that he goes about surfing a wave better more positive faster and more raw than most people do so i'm pretty much trying to like recreate that with my surfboards these days trying to make them faster and stronger and holding their rail lines a lot more like chris ward would have done that raw power back in the day the way they surfed is so good this is like the closest thing i've gotten to it so far i like to keep tweaking it as we go hope you guys appreciate it it's a pretty nice day and it's finally not raining i'm just gonna be cruising uh we'll see you at the skate park so we surf pretty average creek. Yeah, we came over to the skate park here at San Clemente. Get a rip on.
like saw my foot come off and I was just still committed. <laughs> that was not legit. Main goal, every skate, never slam. Right? Like, is that a municipal way shirt? Dude, that thing's sick. Look at that. Like, freshman year of high school, that's why it's all small on me now. Yeah, so, it's kind of a schmedium. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, trunk. A thousand dimes in the water. and surfing intersect. All those front side airs, it's just like little surf punts. It's the same exact wall. Emulates surfing when you land on top of the lip kinda and you have to keep your tail heavy and your nose up so you don't curl, but you get the same exact wall every single time. Whereas surfing, you have to like hope to even catch on the same wave again. <laughs> Teach you how to use the wall to get back into the wave versus like normally when you're going out of wave, you're going the wrong way. You need to be coming back into it. So skateboarding helps you pop and use your body weight to throw you back. I love skateboarding. I've been doing it forever. My dad was an old pool skater. We used to go skate backyard pools and all kinds of different places together around here. It's just fun. It's like childhood It's always good to get back on the board. It's been a while. I wish Shane Waterman was here. Shout out Shano. Good skateboarder. <laughs> well, that was fun. Skate park. Cool to catch up with Bailey, the homie. It's a good time and good to kind of like keep busy while the waves are shitty. Keep up surfing muscles, I guess. That's what I use to put my skateboard away. Nice putter. We're gonna go down to the shop. And I kind of want to get a new surfboard. So yeah, we're gonna cruise down to use surf right now. Let's go. Dude, I have one of these. I have a Craig Hollingsworth lightning bolt that's super sick. See, this is such a common thing that I'm noticing people do. When you bust your fin box like this and just the back bit is smashed, you gotta pull the whole plug out, unfortunately. But people just like glass it in like this and it's all like crooked now. This thing's kind of sick though. I actually wanted to check it out. <laughs> 5719. It's kind of a good little board. Ooh, I see a tinny. A scorpion. These are super sick boards. Ooh, somebody should buy this board. This is a fun surfboard. These little album boards are pretty cool. Josh Kerr rips on those boards. I like that they surf a lot. Whoa, this thing's kind of sick. I like this. G Twin, I think they call it. Dude, one day I want to get one of these and just go try to do punts. Whoa, how's that? That looks fun to glass. That's a Sanders nightmare right there. Oh, and all these channels in the bottom too? Jeez, how is that thing, Cole? He likes to do these little like bonds or concave things. Holy sh! <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? Five, five, two and a half. Big runt, big punt. This is a very interesting design. This looks sick. Barrett Miller, another T Dubs, Prosecutor, Quad, Rags. Brandon Regenovich, legend, Sunny's Pizza, great pizza, San Clemente. This is the Channel Islands surfboard, swallowtail, three fin. Might be a little big for me, but you could always resell it. Okay, fins, black sticks. Oh, Ian likes these fins a lot. Brando, I would like a fin demo, please. Blue flavor, blueberry. Five weeks, five dollars, five fins, baby. I'm down to try it, because I know Ian Gautrin likes these a lot. He used to ride them a sh and they look pretty similar to the AM2s, just a little fuller. We don't make those anymore. That's the last of its kind. They were like pretty similar actually. Kinda. Well no, just for now. Yeah. Should I try to draw the little wave thingy? Okay, ready? Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, Ripro. I'm gonna just make it into a shark. <laughs> that looks so funny. I butchered that. Dude, that looks so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Huh. 
Okay, there you have it. That's it. That's how you sticker up a surfboard. Thanks for all the help, you shrout. Oh, I need like wax and a leggy and like all kinds of shit for my surf. You guys have that stuff, right? Cold's good. That's perfect. Thank you. Da -da -da -da. Now I need a leggy. So many options. Pro light. And you get a sick carabiner with it too, right? right? Sunscreen. I actually do need to get this. Maybe some solar res just in case. Don't want to get stuck at the beach with a ding and no way to fix it. Oh, how's that umbrella? Definitely gonna, gonna need an umbrella at the beach. And it even has a sick little digger thing. <laughs> How's that? Got all my beach gear. Sunscreen, wax, fins, board, laggy, umbrella. That's a wrap. Thanks for tuning back in. Episode 12, check back in next week. Now we're out. I'm gonna go surf. All right, see you guys later. Later, Bubba.